What up? Hey guys. What's up? What is up? So, um, we have been trying some experimental shit over the last couple of episodes. Very experimental. <laughs> and nobody seems to like it. Nope. <laughs> so we're trying to go back to something traditional. Yes. So. We got the books. We got the knowledge. You need this. First of all, I am Munazil. Navid. Say hi to Panda behind the camera. It is the camera. El camera. And Panda is behind it. And today we are going to have a day for all you DC fuckers. You know, your God. You who say you sent to fix up the mess that Zack Snyder made. And you want the movie universe to be as good as the comic book universe. Wait, then, 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 are talking about Josh Whedon? Josh Whedon is not the fixer. Josh Whedon is... Wasn't he the fixer? No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. After <laughs> your Lord, movie or comic your book Lord, <laughs> your God, your Savior, Hack after Snyder. Hack Snyder fucked up your precious DC EU, <laughs> DC Comics basically said there is only one guy who can save the DC EU, and his name is Mr. Jeff Jones. Hefe Jones. Hefe Jones. L Hefe. It's probably the. Is the CEO or the CCO? <laughs> or he is something of that nature in DC Comics. I and think he's C C O O of uh, media and. Uh, What's Jim Lee then? Jim Lee is co-publisher. I mean, co Motherfuck. Co-editor, I think. With, Fucking uh, DC and yeah. their positions. So he is like one of the three big honchos. So him Lee and Hefe Jones, and there's probably somebody and else. Then did it. Then did it. <laughs> did it. So. Jeff Jones trying to be Kevin Feige and trying to save the movie universe for DC. We don't know how it's working out. We still don't know we how still it's don't actually know. Working. Apparently Wonder Woman was under his watch, so apparently Wonder Woman people liked it. We didn't. Well, Wonder Woman was for chicks. I don't really like it. It wasn't a guy movie, it was it a chick flick. It was a full on chick We're not flick. being sexist right now. We're just <laughs> it's saying a it's a movie directed by a chick starring a chick. So it's a chick flick. Chick. No, a we're not flick. being sexist. So, Jeff Jones. Although he cannot save or he will not be able to save DCU in our opinion, what we do think is he is actually the savior of DC Comics. Yes. From time to time he has actually saved DC Comics uh, when they went off track and when they were, you know, mired in their own continuity. He always had this way of raining things in for some I, I don't know how he does it, but he's like... Yeah. He, he's brilliant, I mean... Uh, he's a great writer, I mean, don't get me wrong. Also, he's just not a, not a very good plotter, you know. You give him a long ass thing and he will leave plot holes. But that's to be expected because he really does save or fix certain things in the DC continuity. A lot of things. Yeah, you know, like he did amazing with uh, the Hawk Guy. It's called Hawk Guy, right? Hawkman. Hawkman. <laughs> he did awesome with Hawkman. <laughs> Two thumbs up for how he fixed Hawkman. That shit made no sense, man. And then he made sense of it. Awesome. Great job on that, Mr. Jeff Jones. El Jefe, you you fucking saved that. He's the guy responsible for bringing back the Hal Legion. Jordan. No, let's Legion. Let's, let's go to Legion later. First, Hal Jordan. For the big guys first. Hal Jordan. The big guys. The, the ring guys. Jordy. So, he brought back Jordy LaBear. No, 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 Jordy LaBear. Jordy LaBear is the guy with the Star Trek, right? Hal Jordy. Hal Jordy. He brought Hal Jordy back from the dead. He brought Flash Barry Allen back from the dead. The Final name crisis. on the book is <laughs> Hefe Jones. Rebirth. So Hefe Jones Rebirth bought it. back. Don't listen to this, Jeff Morrison fanboy. Hefe Jones bought back the Filash. Yes, and when the Filash that came back and Barry Allen suddenly became popular and they killed off Wally West, kind of sort of. Yes. And then they he bought back Wally West. That's who he is. He fucking brings back Barry Allen, kills off Wally West in Flashpoint, sort of, and then he brings him back. He's the bringer backer of things. Except he can't do it with, you know, the DCEU because yeah. that's beyond yeah. saving. Beyond saving. <laughs> you know, you could be dead for 22 years in mainstream continuity and he can bring you back. But DCEU is beyond saving. So, today we're going to talk about El Jefe Jones or Jeff Jones or Jefe Jones's couple of his books that are available in JCC right now. So, number one, we're not paid by JCC. This is not a paid promotion. We don't get any commission out of promoting books in JCC. We don't even get any yeah, so we just do it, do it like we said. Water. Yeah, no water even, no tissue even. I bring tissue from home. <laughs> so, 
So, uh, what we are going to do is, is uh, we are going to talk about the books that has been written by Jeff A. Jones eh, and is available in the store. Mind it, we are going to talk about stuff that is uh, in a single uh, continuity stuff so you can buy a book and read it and that will be the end of the story. He has other books that written by him available in the store but some of them have volume 1 or let's say volume 2 so some of them, so it's incomplete like you have Batman Earth 1 in the store, volume 2 is in the store, volume 1 has been sold out. You have New Krypton volume 2 and 3 in the store written by Jeff Jones again, volume 1 has been sold out. Um, Pum, 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 pum. There are some other shit that he's written that's in the store, but something or the other. I think Booster Gold Volume 2 is also in the store, but Volume 1 is missing. I have them both, bitches. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. First of all, it's Batman and the Legion of Superheroes. Oh, wait, no. It's Superman and the Legion of Everything is Batman. Season 1, Episode 9. Everything is Batman. Okay, so Superman and the Legion of Superheroes. In this book, he takes well, the most convoluted story uh, in the DC universe uh, which is of the Legion because Legion is this huge ass group that uh, exists and DC didn't know what to do you know in the 31st century and DC did not know what to do with it it got really convoluted so at one point they decided they were going to sort of write them out of continuity this was during Infinite Crisis I think so so at that point the Legion was lost to the DC Universe in general and there were no the legend, Legion stories coming out. Hefe Jones, who by the way is a fanboy just like us, that's how he got his start. He used to write letters to DC and you can find all his old letters on the back of DC Comics and stuff like that. He worked with Richard Donner, the guy who made the Superman movies, he was an assistant director on that movie and that's how he got his break into DC Comics and comics writing and now he's El Hefe. This guy does no, no wrong. So El Hefe found out a way of how to bring back the Legion and how to make sense of this convoluted 30 year old story of over 60 characters and then he just made it so beautiful and so hopeful and so amazing you know when you see Superman meeting the Legion all over again after he's forgotten about their existence it just gives you goosebumps feels amazing, it reads amazing, it's got amazing art by Gary Frank, you know, those of you who don't know who Gary Frank is, check the master out, he is oh, amazing, man, really you know, <laughs> like, you know the jigs look amazing. like, like, pick this book up just for Dawnstar's cleavage, I think I said, talked about this book before, <laughs> and then I talked about Dawnstar's cleavage at that time, she's got the cleavage, and he draws the cleavage, it's so nice, <laughs> so, yeah, just pick this book up for the cleavage, man, yeah. it's, it's, it's going, it is an amazing you read, yeah, because because this is part of a trilogy as well. So I have uh, I have the trilogy, but this is the book I started with. Then I went back and read the first part and the last part. So it doesn't really hamper your understanding. If you don't know who the Legion are, it will explain it. If you don't know what's happening in the 31st century, this will explain it. If you don't know who Brainiac is, this will explain it. Everything's explained. This is $24.99, which is $25, which is $1,600 plus $500. It's about $2,100 taka or something. Moving on. Uh, the next book on our list is Thy Kingdom Come. Uh, from Justice Society of America. This is actually a uh, follow up to the Kingdom Come original book written by Mark Wade. So, pick this up, it's amazing. It's actually part of the Justice League of America run by Jeff Jones. I would suggest if you can read this, I would suggest if you want to, you should read the whole Justice League of America, Justice Society of America by Jeff Jones. It's amazing ball. <laughs> Uh, group Pick It Up is actually continues the story, it actually has our Superman from that area and it actually explains a lot of stuff from there, how this universe can get to the Kingdom Come universe, so get it, it's wonderful and it also has Alex Ross who's also a co-plotter with Jeff Jones, so pick this up, it's amazing, it's got amazing art by Dale Eaglesham. Uh, I don't know what else can I say about this. This is a great book. Uh, it's available in JCC. It's the first part of a three-part, um, three-part, what do you call it? A volume. volume. Three-part volume series. Uh, part one is available in JCC. If you like it, read it, and then I hopefully you can download the part two and part three. Or you can also ask Jamal Bhai to bring it over. I mean, yeah. Like, JSA, That's always the whole point. Yeah. So, JSA like, started off as... They were the original JLA, if you guys don't know, uh, before the, the, the whole uh, Flash 22. No, uh, anybody who's watched Legends of Tomorrow should know. Oh, yeah, if you're watching Legend, Legends of uh, the Losers of Tomorrow, hey, you should know. Legends is awesome. I don't know, I'm not watching. It's a cartoon, man. I am not watching it's it. I have no idea what is, is going Batman on. Is Batman Raven the Bull? Is Iron Fist on the show yet? Why would Iron Fist be on the show? I don't know! It's about multiple universes! Iron Fist can be on the show, you no. know. No. Okay. No, 
DC, Fuck Marvel. <laughs> yeah, but okay. <laughs> Karate Kid so, can win the show. Karate Kid. <laughs> Karate Kid versus Iron Fist. Who wins that one? Karate. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. He's from the 31st century. This guy's. If here. you want us to do an episode <laughs> where we find out if Karate Kid versus Iron Fist, and if you don't know who Karate Kid is, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Karate Kid versus Iron Fist. Who wins? We can do it here or on Radio Dole. You know, if you want to watch that. Yeah. Just let us know. Anywho, moving on to the third book of today we're going to Shesh do Chale. is Shesh Chale. Superman Shesh It is a very, <laughs> it is very cleverly named. It is also written by Hefe Jones, like all the books you're going to talk El about. Hefe. El Hefe, he is doing some metaphorical wordplay here. You see, <laughs> let me explain this to you. Superman is the last son. But he's got another Krypton. son who's also the last Now son. he's got a son who is also the last <laughs> son of Krypton. <laughs> It is like something is happening Double that whammy. is... <laughs> it is like, you know, we have multiple last sons. <laughs> okay, so technically one. Superman is not the last son anymore. <laughs> because we have another it's, son it's, that has come on. It's the passing of the baton. It has, Superman it is like, is, I'm not last anymore, you're the last you're son. You're the last one. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> fuck you. I'm not the last one anymore. <laughs> also, <laughs> also very sexist. He's not called the last child of Krypton. Because, <laughs> no, you know, there are girls and shit left. Like Supergirls <laughs> there and Power Girls <laughs> there and stuff. Like so he's not the last child. He is the last son, and then he has another son, and now he has his own son. <laughs> so uh, I'm guessing. Well, he's not the last son of uh, the, his. Jonathan is not the last son. Of well, technically, he's, he's carrying on Krypton, art. Krypton DNA. So uh, last son of Krypton. Last there are multiple Krypton. last sons of Krypton. <laughs> so lesson number three hundred forty-two: Nothing is ever last in the comic yeah, book world. Yeah, yeah. There will be something. When they say Wolverine is dead for good, he's not dead he's for good. He's coming back six months later. So. <laughs> if if they say Tim, you know. Robin is a dead for good. <laughs> no. He's not dead for good. <laughs> He's coming back with the hood. Yes, I'm waiting for Kajani Maragalo. I want uh, Cyclops. Cyclops is coming back. But Cyclops is beyond repair, so he's probably gonna come back as a villain, which is awesome. No, I don't want it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't want him as a villain. But <laughs> last son, we're talking about stuff that does not matter. El Jefe Jones. Yes. Although I would love it if he ever wrote X Men for a while. Oh, good lord, that'd be amazing. <laughs> so, El Jefe Jones wrote about Superman's son in this before Superman had an actual son. He had a son Isn't from an, son? Uh, yes, from yes. from the Phantom Zone. Adopted. Adopted. Yeah. So the Phantom Zone kid but comes but back. Do you realize how uh, how messy Superman is? He could have just gone someplace and adopted a regular kid. But like no no no. No. Nope. Nope. Go to the Phantom Zone. Nope. I'm the only kid there. I'll adopt that. Go kid. going to <laughs> random places and adopting kids is <laughs> Bruce's thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm Superman. <laughs> I'm going to the Phantom Zone and getting me a kid. So he guts himself a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and the kid brings back General Zod and the other women chick and the other other Kryptonians. And then you have like an invasion, full on invasion happening of all the Kryptonians on planet Earth. Superman fighting. You have lots of different Kryptonites. <laughs> Lex Luthor shows up and he has the pink Kryptonite that makes Kryptonians gay. He has red Kryptonite. No, it's, 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 uh, it's Lex Squad is there. Yeah, Lex has a squad and they have yeah. different colors of Kryptonite. And Actual squad. Yeah. He has a Lex has a proper squad. Proper squad. Kryptonian fighting squad. Yep. And basically, at the end of the day, Lex saves the day in this more than Superman does. Yeah, he does. Actually. So, that's pretty awesome as well. So, I, I actually love the art on this one as well. I think this was by what? Uh, Adam, Kubert? Kubert. And Adam Kubert. Adam Kubert. Adam Kubert. Uh, one of the co-plotters of this is by basically Richard Donner. You know, the guy who made Superman the first two... Three movies? Two movies? Two movies! Two movies! Two movies. Two movies. Two movies. El Jefe worked with him on those duo movies and then, then he wrote this. Wasn't he wasn't an assistant, right? He was an assistant director. Yeah. So again, pick this one up. This is about yes. 1600 bucks in the store, which is nothing. It's not like you have to go to the Phantom Zone to find a kid. No. 1600 bucks is... Come to Kakuli and so you'll be fine, you'll find That is... <laughs> <laughs> you don't last need to stop. search anywhere else. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, next up, we have uh, another volume from Justice Society of America. This is uh, called Black Adam and Isis. Also by Jeff Jones and art by uh, oh, Dave, Dave Diggleshum. And it's Dave Diggleshum? Or Dale Eaglesham? Dave Eaglesham. I thought I heard Dave Diggleshum. No, like, Diggleshum! No, no, not Diggleshum. Okay. So uh, it's also co plotted by Jerry Orbe. If you don't know who he is, sad. He's quite a famous guy. He by the way, this is a Shazam for... movie coming out, right? With Black Adam's yeah. Rocks? Black Adam. Yeah, Rock is Black Adam. Rock is black Adam. I don't know man, this, this is not the rock man. It doesn't look like the rock. It doesn't look like a rock. It doesn't look like the rock, it doesn't look like the rock at all. It basically continues the story from uh, uh, New 52, I guess, where Black Adam loses Isis or something. So Isis is back, she's bad, she's dangerous, she wants to take over the world, and Black Adam is facilitating that. By the way, he's not black. Yes, he's not black. 
in no sense whatsoever. We like racist jokes. Yes. So uh, it's in the store. Uh, you can do pick it up. It's great. It has. It's got great action, great art. It's got Superman in it. I think. Uh, it's got Black Adam. Uh, if you do want to get it, it's twenty five bucks. So it's two thousand taka here. Get it. Read it. If you like it, buy more. If you don't like it, buy. Because like, like try and read the entire JSA thing. You yes. know. Uh, Hefe basically fixed this whole continuity thing between what the JLA means and what the JSA means and everything. So those were the books by Jeff Jones that are available in the store. I hope you have enjoyed this overly long video or a love letter to Mr. Jeff Jones, whom we will be tagging on Twitter. Yes. So if you know, and hopefully he will be retweeting mm -hmm. this, and then we will get millions of views. Hopefully, and make no one money. One can always it. dream of shit. Right? And you know, make no money <laughs> of it. So. Uh, if you do like this video, leave us a like and a subscribe and a comment down below. We are trying to hit 200 subscribers. Yes. <laughs> yes. 200. Do 200. So I might edit this and put this at the beginning of the thing because you know the before anything that came before this, I don't want you guys. I don't even care if you guys watch it or not. Just get me to 200. Do 200. At 200, we will be giving away some giveaway, something yes. or the other. I don't know. I have a lot. I of still have copies of All Star Batman One. <laughs> <laughs> First place. So you know we will be giving some interesting stuff away once we reach 200 subscribers. <coughs> so help us reach there. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your mom's lover to come and give us a like and a subscribe and a He's thumbs dead. up. What? They're dead. It could be a dead dad. I don't know. It's a mom's lover, so you should be technically dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, don't be PewDiePie. Come and give us a like and subscribe and talk shit about us behind our backs and maybe send us a screenshot and we'll, yeah, you, can, you, you know. Cast us out. Yeah, that's so we're, fine. We're used yeah. to it now. As long as you subscribe. We've got Condor and Chum Rap on it. Yeah. This is going to be the longest video. And, you know, none of you are going to watch this, so, you know what. I can just do this and you know, <laughs> you don't know because you haven't watched this far. So, yeah, so that's it. Uh, check us out on Facebook. He's, he's, in a, he's in a hurry. Check us out on Facebook. Do Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. And um, leave a comment or a subscribe. This is going to be about what? This is, we're hitting the 20 minute mark. Anyways, so, see you next week.